Option Borokwan. Greetings from Musoni. Tukulu Avango ni Nivandao. Namunta, we are here at the Temple of Abydos, the ancient temple of uh, Pharaoh Seti the First. So we're making our way up. the holy place yeah it's sunday today so we're gonna take you out to church You can only imagine how it looked in its former time before its destruction but uh, we still have quite a lot to see even with most of the things having been destroyed and removed and etc. see the beautiful decorations still in color over four thousand years old you see all the spiritual rituals that predates the story of any other arc that you heard of. So I'm gonna take a lot of pictures out here and then I'll show you guys some of the interesting uh, spiritual rituals at a later stage. Are you saying that Jesus was anything new to the Africans? Oh, Mary, that immaculate conception and virgin birth was something new? That Isis and Osiris and, and Heru was not already in the concept of virgin birth and immaculate conception? If you doubt that, then you should go to a place called Abidas and Dendera, and you will see there the first holy land that many of us spoke about, right dug into the wall and the pictures on the wall and the freezes you will see isis receiving an immaculate conception and giving birth to a virgin child four thousand years before mary did the same trick <laughs> osiris uh, lying dead he's lying on his back and um over here you have uh, Isis or Ascent, the goddess Ascent, the wife, uh, in the form of a bird, and she basically uh, she landed on his penis, and with this was their spiritual copulation. So the bird represents. Uh, spirit so it means that she because he is dead he is in another realm so to reach him she has to go to that realm in the form that's required in that realm we know it's her because of the crown I mean uh, the throne over here and so she lays on his uh, on his penis and extracts his seed and then she goes back to life in the physical realm and falls pregnant in the physical realm so this is the 
origin of Immaculate Conception. Uh, this is not the oldest story, of course, uh, within ancient Egypt, but this specific story is older than uh, the biblical story of Jesus and Mary. However, uh, Osiris himself is born of a virgin. as well so the story goes back even before that so within ancient Kemet the story of immaculate conception um, it uh, runs it, it re, it's repetitive it's not a one-time story it's repetitive as are many of the spiritual concepts uh, within the culture and uh, right now I'm at uh, Dandara Temple and I'm going to show you guys uh, the exact same scene that I showed you of Immaculate Conception at, um, at Abydos, the Temple of Seti Wan. So you can see right behind me. Osiris lying on his uh, back with uh, with uh, Osset as a bird descending upon his penis for a spiritual intimacy copulation. So this scene is not only one place and they all predate all the religions, major religions, your Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. So this scene that I've showed you guys actually uh, brings out uh, two concepts that you find in the Bible, one being the Immaculate Conception and the other one being the Resurrection, because uh, here in the in the in the whole in the entire story, uh, Osiris is they eventually gets raised up uh, from the dead from his dead deathbed. In this specific scene, uh, still here at Dendera, you see uh, Osiris lying on, on his back in a coffin, but uh, he is compared to a seed, as the Bible says, is, uh, unless a seed falls to the ground and dies, it abides alone, but if it dies, it bears much fruit. So here, in this specific scene, Osiris is a tree that grows out of the ground and uh, brings forth new life. So actually a few months ago I, I posted a video uh, explaining this concept of Immaculate Conception and the Resurrection in its Bantu origins. This specific video was all about bringing the actual story to life by taking you to it, its actual place where the story was told in the books and stones. If you haven't checked out the video, this is the video. Uh, you find it on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, press that subscribe button. You know, for more cool whispers from the ancestors, you know, ancestral intelligence with Musoni. Um, like the video, share the video, peace and African power, and Merry Christmas to everybody. Just remember where all of that came from.